So in this video, I'm going to install Ubuntu 24.10 and this is the beta version. I'm going to be installing this in a virtual machine. So this is the installation. I'll choose my language here. So here you can customize the accessibility features, for example, CN. So I'll leave everything as is, click next. I'll select the keyboard layout, I'm going to leave it as English. So you can choose your connection to the internet here. And here you have two options, what do you want to do with Ubuntu? You can install Ubuntu in the machine or you can try, I'm going to leave it as install. And how would you like to install Ubuntu interactive installation or automatic? I'm going to leave it as interactive. What apps would you like to start with? I'm going to select extended selection. And it says here, would you like to install recommended proprietary software? I'm going to check install third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware. And also download and install support for additional media formats. How would you like to install Ubuntu? I'm going to select the first option, erase this and install Ubuntu. I'll create an account. I'll require a password to log in. So the time zone is correct here. So here's a review of the choices. You can also pause the installation here. Okay, I'm going to restart now. So this is the login page. This is the accessibility icon. So this is the default color for Ubuntu. So you can go through this. You can click next and read more information here. So the dock is on the left by default. This is the home folder. So I'll right click the desktop, select change background. So I'll change it to dark theme. These are the colors. For example, I'm going to change it to blue. I'm going to leave it as green. So these are some of the wallpapers. This is the default wallpaper. So these are the apps. So I'll open the file manager. So on the left side, this is the top section. And this is the bottom section. So here I can move these up or down. For example, videos, I can move it all the way up. So this is a PDF document. This is pictures and I have some pictures here.
So on this section, I can remove any one of these. I just have to right click, for example, downloads. I'll right click and select remove from bookmarks. And I can place it back here. I just have to click on the hold button. And I just have to drag the downloads folder here. And it's here. So I'll right click here, create a new folder. I'll right click the folder, click on properties, and I can set permissions for this folder. So on the files manager, here's a search option here. For example, I'll choose documents. And I just have to click on this search icon here. So I'll open utilities. This is the disk usage analyzer. Uh, here I get a color-coded chart. This is the rings chart. There's also a tree map chart. So I'll open the settings app. This is the network settings. This is Bluetooth displays. This is the song settings. This is the power settings. This is multitasking. This is the appearance settings. This is the Ubuntu desktop settings. So this is the position of new icons. Bottom right, I can change that. So this is if I want to show the home folder, I can turn that off. This is the home folder. So this is the dock settings. This is auto hide the dock. This is the panel mode. The dock extends to the screen edge. So I can change the position of the dock here. Right now it's on the left. So on the right, I'm going to leave it at the bottom. This is the enhanced styling settings. Yeah, I can configure the default apps. This is notification settings. This is the search settings. I can configure online accounts. This is the sharing settings. This is the mouse and touchpad settings. This is the keyboard settings. I can select these three dots and select view keyboard layout.
This is the color settings. This is the printer settings. This is accessibility. I can turn this off, show accessibility menu. I'll leave it on. This is privacy and security. I can configure the screen lock settings here. So on system settings, there's region and language, there's date and time. This is date and time. This is users and here I can add new users. So this is remote desktop. And there's desktop sharing and remote login. This is secure shell. So I want to keep these apps in the middle. So I'll just open settings and select Ubuntu desktop and under dock the panel mode. I'm going to turn this off. So I'll right click Firefox and I have these options. I'll select app details. So there are three dots here and I can update Firefox or I can uninstall it and click on update. So on the left side is explore. And I can search for apps here. There's featured. There's productivity. Development is games. So on the lower left, this is the manage install snaps. So there's updates available. So I'll open the new Security Center app. I'll just type security here. This is the Security Center app. And here I can require apps to ask for system permissions. So I'm going to open the SysProf app. So it's in Utilities. So there's Profiler, Authentication. This is Counters. And there's an option to open recording. So at the bottom here, there's open file. Record the file. I'll click on record. I'll stop recording. And this is what was recorded.
So SysProf is a system-wide performance profiler for Linux systems, and this is installed by default in Ubuntu 24.10. So the kernel version of this Ubuntu is 6.11, and the desktop environment is GNOME 47. So in this video, I install Ubuntu 24.10, and this is beta version. So I want to thank you for watching, and I thank you for subscribing. Right.